Forest here. I want to talk to you about qualifying for a short sale. A short sale happens when the lender is shorted on a mortgage, meaning the lender accepts less than the total amount that is due. If your mortgage is $100,000, but your home is worth, say, $90,000, you are $10,000 short, not including costs to close the sale, such as real estate commissions, recording fees, or title and escrow charges. The following criteria are generally used by lenders to determine whether or not you qualify for a short sale. The home's market value has dropped. Hard market comparables must substantiate that the home is worth less than the unpaid balance due the lender. This unpaid balance may include a prepayment penalty. The mortgage is in or near default status. It used to be that lenders would not consider a short sale if the payments were current, but that is no longer the case. Realizing that other factors contribute to a potential default, many lenders are eager to head off future problems at the pass. The seller has fallen on hard times. You must submit a letter of hardship that explains why you cannot pay the difference due upon sale, including why you will have to stop making monthly payments. A few examples that do not constitute a hardship are number one, bad purchase decisions. Blowing your paycheck on a home theater system with surround sound does not qualify as a hardship. Number two, unhappy with the neighbors. Even if every home on the block has turned into pot growing houses, that will not qualify as a hardship. Number three, buying a home. The lender will not care if you've decided the home is no longer suitable for you or your family. Number four, pregnancy. Increasing the size of your family or starting a family is not considered a hardship. Number five, moving into an apartment. If you decide to move out of your home, that is a lifestyle decision and not a very good reason to abandon your home. Some examples of hardships are Number one, unemployment. Number two, divorce. Number three, medical emergency or sudden illness. Number four, bankruptcy. And number five, death. Now for the last qualifier. The seller has no assets. The lender will probably want to see a copy of your tax returns and or a financial statement. If the lender discovers assets, the lender may not grant the short sale because the lender will feel that you have the ability to pay the shortened difference. Sellers with assets may still be granted a short sale, but could be required to pay back the shortfall. For example, if you have cash in a savings account, own other real estate, stocks, bonds, or even IRA accounts, the lender will most likely determine that you have assets. However, the lender might discount the amount you're required to pay back. After hearing the qualifications, do you think you might be eligible for a short sale on your home? If so, I would be glad to help you. Feel free to give me a call at 423-748-6955. And thanks for watching and have a good day.